Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katya Woods and today we're going to discuss Solo. All right, someone once said the best way to give a review is not to go into the problems first. Let's talk about the good. As visually, it's a stunning movie. Lucasfilm always does a good job visually. The special effects were on point, the fight scenes were great really enjoy that. I love Sandy Newton's character Val. I thought it was great to show a fierce woman warrior and really really enjoy that. Also enjoyed um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. She played the android. I thought she did a really good job injecting humor and um, making it a little bit more lighthearted. Uh, also want to talk about well Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is a veteran actor and he never, he very rarely gives a bad performance. And in this one, he is the veteran scoundrel, the veteran um, pirate who more or less is the person that gives Solo the rules on, on how to be a good smuggler and what to look out for and what to accept and what not to accept. So in that way, um, you know, he was, he had more to him and he had layers. And again, he does that kind of like passive aggressive humor really well. So I enjoyed him. Donald Glover is a star. He was a star before this. His star is like boom, 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 boom. And you can't help but to gravitate towards him. He just has a presence. Some people have the it factor, Donald Glover has it in spades. And him as Lando was perfect. No one else. I can't envision anybody else playing it. Or they could have, but it wouldn't have been as great. Let's get into it. I haven't mentioned Alden Ehrenreich. Alden is not a bad actor, but I feel like this role, he did not live up to the heightness or the hugeness, and I know those are not words, um, but I'm using that, that is Han Solo. He, this is a, one of the most iconic characters in Star Wars. And I understand he's not Harrison Ford. And we don't need him to be Harrison Ford. But he was not as, charima as charismatic and as powerful. And he did not come through on the screen strong enough for me. It was more or less all the other actors lifted him up. He was very flat and very underwhelming, to put it politely. Now part of it is not his fault because there wasn't a lot left there for him to work with. The introduction, why, how did he end up an orphan? Um, why all these other things? I mean, a lot of it was meant for us just to understand, like how, where, like I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've read the books, I've seen every Star Wars movie, and even I'm like, I'm waiting for you to fill in the blanks so I can get caught up. What is, what makes him tick and how did he end up an orphan? Anybody? Anybody. No. Amelia Clark, who most of us know from Games of Thrones as Khaleesi, she is a natural brunette. She's not a blonde. She's a blonde on Games of Thrones. Can we talk about how Star Wars has this obsession with blonde haired women? love interest, the whole, I mean, excuse me, not blonde hair, brunette women, love interest, that whole situation. Like, we, why? Give us, like, heroines, women come, and all different shapes and sizes and colors and the, what's with the brunettes? Like, really, it's really weird. Take me up on that. Look back on all the Star Wars movies. The other, and they're British. They're blonde and British, other than Carrie Fisher. My problem with her was like, what was the purpose of her in the movie? Like for real, other than to be his love interest, right? To me, she was doing what some actresses do is play pretty. She looked good, but did we really care about her as a character? Did we want to know more? Me personally, no. I was good with homegirl once they separated. Once he joined the resist, uh, once he sure joined, you know, the dark side, and he became a soldier, I was like, all right, go on and enjoy your new life and get over home, girl. 
this whole thing was not working for me. It was seemed like it was forced. Also, there was no good villain in this movie. All Star Wars need a good villain. Darth Vader, the Emperor, Phantom, all of that. Ugh. It was, it's, it's a mess. Paul Anthony played Dexter. He was supposed to be kind of like the Jabba Hutt in this case, right? But he wasn't. Like, he had the scars. Uh, it wasn't even an intimidating, scary look. I mean, you're wearing a frock, for God's sake. So, it wasn't scary. Like, people did not tremble when he walked into the room. There was no... Wow, we gotta we gotta get it together, right? Because if we don't, somebody could end up dead. None of that was there. Like there's no good villain in this movie, and that's always been a thing. Where the thing about Star Wars is pretty simple, the premises. You have your good guys, you have your bad guys. Your good guys have not the best equipment, they're usually outnumbered, but they have good on their side. And they have one or two people that believe in the mission no matter what. And that inspires the rest of the people to jump on the mission. Then you have your bad people. The people that are like, we got to kill 200 people in order to get to where we got to go, then we'll do that. Because at the end, the mission is much better, much more important than all these little things we like to call humans or living things. It's all about conquering and pushing forward. And that is driven by somebody that has no morals, no alliances, and just basically convinces a whole bunch of other people that that's the way to go. And that person usually is not the best looking. They have some type of dark thing about them, whether their face is deformed, they got a cape, and some electrical stuff is shooting out of their hands, something. None of that we got. Nothing. We weren't like, you weren't even like, ooh, nothing. That was messing. Um, you know, why all these people willing to, 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 to turn on each other? Nothing. That was very much needed here to offset some of the boredom that was going on. Might I also add that the story was just problematic. The characters that we liked got taken out early, like Val. Why was Val the one that had to sacrifice herself? I would have loved to see more of her to offset um, Amelia's character, who's, you know, just basically playing a pretty girl. Okay, so Amelia Kier is going to be the cute girl. Uh, let Val be the attractive, strong fighter in the lines of a Princess Leia or a Rogue and let her go in there and be right there with the men. Instead, she sacrifices herself. It's a mess. So that was a problem for me. Also, the droid. Again, dro why? The droids have always been a part of the Star Wars um, vocabulary. Again, we like somebody and bye. See ya. Well, okay. Thank God for Chewie, because Chewie is the one consistent thing, and they try to make him be like, you know, this this dark, this monstrous thing, and we know that's not who Chewie is. Chewie only fights when you're coming for Chewie, try to take away Chewie's food, or hurt the people that Chewie loves. But Chewie is for good. Chewie is not, um... A weapon to be used to hurt others because that's not who Chewie is by nature. So again, it's almost like these folks are not understanding that although we're going back in time, but we already have been introduced to these characters and we know who they are and we know their spirit. And it's like these folks don't even understand that. It's not so all of the things that were reported prior during after the making of this movie came out on the screen. The script was problematic, the character development was problematic, and I like Ron Howard, but I think even he couldn't save this movie. So for me, it was underwhelming. If you saw Solo and you felt the same way, or if you loved it, definitely let me know. If you saw things differently, share that with me. But for me, I just felt that they had so much to work with, but didn't do much with it. I would love to see a standalone um, 
Lando movie. I hope that they do do the Boba Fett movie. And overall, I hope they work on developing the female characters and push them a little bit more. This is the future. There are no rules. You don't have to go along with something. You can create and you can break out of that mold. And you know, yes, it's okay to have a love interest, but give these women something to do other than to be pretty, which is basically what Kira was in this movie. Not much was going on with her. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it. I thank everybody who's been watching and helping us grow this part of our YouTube channel. As always, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you at the next go around.